Hi, my name is Rob RMD, and today I'm here to talk about PET CT scans. So let's go ahead and start off with what is a PET CT scan? Simply put, a PET CT scan is a special type of radiologic test that is used to diagnose cancer. How does a PET CT scan work? In PET CT scanning, we inject a special IV medication called fluorodeoxyglucose 18. Sometimes this is called FDG 18, sometimes it's called F18. What is this substance? Basically, it's a radioactive form of glucose. To the body, it's the same as glucose. And we make it radioactive, why? We make it radioactive so that we can track it throughout the body and image it and see where it's going. So what does a PET-CT scan look like? Here I have an example of a PET-CT. It has two different types of information. It has a CT portion and a PET portion. Now in the grayscale, you can see the CT portion. You can see that things that are dense are basically white. Things that are not dense, like fat, are basically dark. So that's the CT portion. The PET portion is represented by this orange color. And the intensity of that orange color relates to the uptake of glucose. If it's more orange, that means there's more glucose uptake. If it's less orange, that means there's less up glucose uptake. So how can I double check this scan to make sure it makes sense? Well. As I said before, the brain is always taking up a lot of glucose. So let's look at the brain. So here I have the brain, and you can see it's lighting up very high, meaning it's taking up a lot of glucose, which makes sense. Another thing to look at is the heart. And here I can see that within the heart, and specifically within the heart muscle, there's a lot of glucose uptake. And that makes sense because the heart never stops working, never stops pumping blood throughout the body as long as we are alive. I want to scroll up and show you a special finding here. There's this finding here within the right lung. You can see this area of soft tissue, and you can also see that it's lighting up hot with PET agent. It's basically very orange. This actually means it's very hypermetabolic or taking up a lot of glucose. Basically, this has to represent cancer because it's soft tissue, it's in the lungs, and it's taking up a lot of glucose. So using this special test without doing anything invasive, I can basically diagnose cancer. What else can I do with this test? Well, the most important thing to know about cancer is where has it spread? Okay, with a PET CT scan, I can then look for any nodes in the mediastinum that the cancer has spread to by looking for any region which is taking up a lot of glucose. I can also look all throughout the body looking for any regions of the body that are taking up a lot of glucose and basically suspect a metastatic disease. For example, lung cancer likes to go to the adrenal glands, which are right here, and I can tell there are no evidence of adrenal metastases. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you learned something about PET-CTs and how they work. They're a safe, effective tool for evaluating cancer and the spread of cancer. Thank you for watching this video, and please subscribe if you want to see additional content. Once again, I'm Strahl RMD. Thank you for watching.